will be in action this week. I'm anxious to see Portia again, but I'm happy to see Sassy Steph. She's made a lot of changes recently. Looks like she's got a new tattoo. She's been working on her pecs. And her uh, opponent, not a lot she hails time. from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Here is Portia Perez. Intense comments we just heard from Crimson. And what? 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 That's not Portia Perez. Portia Perez walked through a children's closet? What's happening here? It's not Portia Perez. Well, who in the world is it? Uh, I don't know, but it, I, I know it's not Portia Perez. Hopefully We've seen we these vignettes, these interviews. I figured we, I figured it was just a phase. Ladies and gentlemen, I stand corrected. Here we go. Coming to you from the planet Monstrosity, Ooh. Doc Monstrous. Wow, Doc Monstrous is here in Pro Wrestling Ohio? What happened in my life? Well, I just took a turn in the right direction, Joe. Welcome to my world. Really? I see superheroes and capes and all kinds of crazy things all the time. I'm so happy Doc Monstrous is here. Pro Wrestling Ohio. Boy, whoever's shelling out money must have shelled out a lot of money for oh, her. I bet. She's a superhero. She didn't have $39 worth of wardrobe on. <laughs> she doesn't. She invests the money into the children. She donates to a lot of kids' hospitals and stuff like that. The matchup starts. Sassy Step versus Doc Monstrous. That's right. She thinks she's a superhero. She is a superhero. Really? Yeah. Okay. I've seen her in action before. I'm sure you have. I see. Hmm. Uh oh. Yeah, and you know what? This really isn't fair to Sassy Steph. Sassy Steph wasn't expecting to face a superhero tonight. She thought she was going to be facing just an average woman. What do you make of the, Perez? the comments of Crimson in the back a moment ago? He touched on these backstage attacks and whether or not he was the guilty party. <laughs> and he stated that uh, it wasn't him and he wouldn't do it. But then again, he's always been a little too I believe him. I'll never question anything Chris He never Crimson said yes says. or no. He said he was two-faced. He didn't give us an answer. Well, uh, then I agree with it. Whatever. Whatever he says goes. It's Crimson, man. I don't want to get beat up. Hentai is joining us this hour. He'll talk about Crimson. Also, we're going to hear from Gregory Iron Hobo Joe. Oh, We've seen man. some very interesting sides of Gregory Iron's personality. We've seen him at his worst with Johnny Gargano calling out Gargano as being the man that laid him out by that guardrail. And... Uh, we also have seen the best of his personality. We've seen Gregory Iron and, and Hobo Joe introduced to Virgil. What? I didn't think Hobo Joe and Virgil were really friends. <laughs> Two and no, near fall in the rain. I thought I was friends with Virgil. Well, I know he's no friend of mine then if he's going to be friends with Hobo Joe. That's disgusting. Hey, but I wanted to point out something earlier. Sassy Steph is really, really trying to get back into contendership here in PWO because I saw Doc Montrose come off the top rope with a double axe handle. And, and Sassy up. Steph kicked out. Reversal by Portia, and Portia reverses the weight and gets a win. I don't even think she meant to do that. No, I think, I think here is your winner, Doc Monstro. That's right, it's Doc Monstro, it's not Portia. I think Steph may have, have been caught off balance. Portia may not have even realized she was caught off. That's that Portia. Now she's acting like she's the strongest woman in the world. She is, she's a superhero. Oh, man, anytime there's trouble lurking, I'm going to call Doc Monstrous. You do that. First, I'll have to call Portia Perez to get Doc man, Monstrous' phone next, number. Next time there's a women's match scheduled, I promise you, Portia Perez will be here, I guarantee it. Well, let's hope not. Gregory Iron and Hobo like Joe that. are standing by. Iron and Hobo, let's get an update on Gregory Iron's help. For Johnny Gargano, following his matchup with the amazing Nate Madsen. That Plus, we have lovely women of professional wrestling. Aaron McGuire, Portia Perez makes a return to PWO. Let's not waste time. Let's go to Pedro DeLuca. Best day ever. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your opening contest is a special women's attraction match. Introducing first, she hails from Rough and Ready, California. Here is Morgan Rockefeller. Pardon the interruption, Joe Dombrowski, but did I hear it right? This is a special women's attraction. Well, based on the fact there's a woman on the way to the ring, I think you'd be correct. <laughs> I love it. And you know what's great about it is that it's a women's attraction, and women are attracted to me, Aaron McGuire. You probably don't know nothing about that, Joe Dombrowski. 
Morgan Rockefeller in the ring, and we saw an issue with Portia Perez recently on TV where she had this ridiculous get-up, and hopefully we've got that <laughs> fixed. And her opponent. She hails from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Here is Portia Perez. Yeah, and we've seen that. Uh, uh, we've seen her recently on television, dressed up in this getup. Is she related to Ben Fruit? I I don't know. And she's, she that, thinks she's some kind of superhero. That is Portia Perez, right? Well, obviously it is. Who in the heck else would it be? I have no idea, but I've never seen Portia look like that before. She's usually wrestlelicious. I don't know what she's doing now. She's trying to impress me. That's what it is, Joe. I stand corrected. Hailing from the planet of monstrosity. Ooh, excuse I me. I present to you Doc Monstrous. This again. What? Doc Monstrous? Dr. Monstrous, for the second time here in PWO, we've seen Portia Perez dressed like this. I think she's the only one that realizes that uh, her secret identity is not so secret. Well, it, if the woman says that her name's Doc Monstrous, then yeah. she's Doc Monstrous. Really? It's at Portia Perez. I've seen Portia Perez. I've a, hung out with Portia Perez is before. Birth, is that on her birth certificate? Uh, as far as I know, yes. Bell sounds I've, turned away. I've hung out with both ladies on separate occasions. I'm and, sure. You know, they're, they're not the same. I don't know why you would even think that, Joe no, Dombrowski. Not, not the least. How dare I? Well, I'll tell you what, folks. We got a lot to talk about this hour. Because M Dog 20, at the end of our last broadcast, stated that he knows, and she's threatening Morgan Rockefeller with some kind of a weapon. I don't know what that was supposed to do, but okay. Well, is this a no disqualification? Well, listen, this is, this is a big time deal here. M Dog 20 at the end of last week's show said he knows who the attacker is. He got jumped, he saw who did it, and after this match, he's going to reveal it to the world. After this match, we're going to find out who has been terrorizing the PWO locker room for so many months now. And we're finally going to get answers from M Dog 20. There's been a lot of speculation on a lot of different athletes when he gets to the bottom of it after this match. Right now, we have a crisscross center ring wow. between Morgan Rockefeller and Portia Perez. And you, you think if she had superpowers, she could see this coming. Well, I'm confused. I, and she's out of breath. Portia is out of breath. And that is Portia. It's up, Portia. Keep Her name mind. is Doc. Portia Perez dropped a couple of matches to Haley Hatred last year and realized she couldn't get the job done. And she said she was going to have to call a close friend. That happened back last fall. Right. We haven't seen her in five months or so up until recently. And she comes, this is her friend or her or whatever. This is what we have. This is the friend she called. This is the friend she brought in. I think it's a spectacular idea. It's always, it's nice of Portia Perez to get her friends involved. You know, she's not somebody that just thinks of herself. No. Portia Perez is a caring person, and, and she called this Doc Monstrous, who appears to be an incredible athlete. Look at that towering fist drop of doom. Portia Perez is a fantastic athlete, but I think she's losing credibility quickly. Something must have got knocked loose by Haley Hatred last fall, because she is obviously not in the same sense of mind. Well, look at this. Doc Monstrous. Doc Monstrous. Yeah. That's her friend. And my friend, too, Joe Dombrowski. And I don't appreciate you making negative comments. That looks her. like the type you would associate with. And there's that super strength. She couldn't lift Morgan Rockefeller. And there's a near fall. Rockefeller now with an inside cradle. Couldn't trap the outside leg. And Portia Perez able to kick out. Portia Perez's friend, Doc And now Monstrous. she's tangled up in her own cape. Give me a break. How ridiculous now, is this? Morgan Rockefeller should be disqualified. She can't see. Well, who could see with something like that? Oh, oh wait, look at that! Backed off into the ropes good. the second time, and oh, more, that was enough for Morgan to lose her balance. Yeah. And I think she hosed everybody right there. What? Don't tell me like this. Yes. Oh, come on again. She won it. Here is your winner, Doc Monstrous. Now, are you are you claiming <laughs> that this is some kind of superhuman strength? Some what? What is that? Oh, superhuman powers? It. That's a complete accident. It's ridiculous. What do you mean, Joe Dombrowski? This was all orchestrated by Portia Perez, who called her very good friend Doc Monstrous, who I happen to know on a personal level. And the woman comes out here and defeats 
A great, great athlete in Morgan Rockefeller. Serious business now. M Dog 20 going to shed a lot of light on a lot of speculation. That wasn't serious. Last week, 